we just we don't just believe it we actually believe that this is the only thing which is true uh when a scientist says hey you know what einstein is proven wrong we don't care we don't believe it because einstein said it we believe because mohammed bin abdullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the jaal is a, 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 a an animal a, a, we have to kill that animal through a weapon we need to believe in that weapon that this weapon is going to kill the jaal the weapon is surah kaf yeah and that weapon is surah kaf but if my belief in surah kaf is made in <coughs> surah bani israil yeah but there's a lot of controversy about this travel like you're saying time travel now i would like you to explain it expound on it more now, i know that a lot of us muslims we believe that it was a it was a journey in a dream and some believe that it was a physical journey Well, no. So, most of so the, what do we have to actually believe? Yeah, it's a good question. To uh, understand Al-Qaeda, most of the people do believe uh, because they read uh, that uh, it's a physical journey. Prophet Muhammad was talking about. Otherwise, Prophet Muhammad saw many things in the dream. Mm-hmm. He saw Ibrahim Al Salam's dream. He saw, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the hell and heaven in, in his dream, and he saw. Uh, You know, there's so many dreams that I can only go. Through. Most of the pe- Muslims know about so many dreams of Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. Uh, if this was also a dream, then the Arabs wouldn't have a problem. Yeah. You know, Miraj became a very big bone of contention between Muslim believers and non-believers. Yeah. And so much so that they started making fun of Prophet Muhammad Sallam that and and all the Sahaba that you know now your Prophet has come yeah. up with this yeah, yeah. this travel. You you actually believe that? So if it were a dream at any level, yeah. even a weak hadith wouldn't have uh, been there. Yeah, and besides, if someone sees anything in the dream, no one's going to come to and question you. Oh, did you have this dream? Because everyone knows that everything is possible in the dream. Yeah, that's why. That's so what even, was a big thing for the them to come and ask? Of Miraj, uh, the problems of uh, uh, the Sahabas. Yeah, that wouldn't have been here. If Sahabas at any level thought this was a dream, dream, yeah, it would not have been a problem at any yeah. level. But it is such a uh, an array of uh, hadith and. Uh, uh you know the the problems arab were giving to the the sahabis that you know uh now i'm just talking to those people who think that those hadith are zaif there's so many hadith which are zaif only on a dream it literally is a paradox yeah. if it you believe it's a dream then there shouldn't be any hadith forget zaif hadith yeah because it, nobody bothers about a dream everybody i fly in a dream Yeah. I've seen the yeah. sun and moon in a dream. I literally have. So, yeah. I have. Nobody's going to think that they're going to ask my brother that you know what you actually believe. Sahil, who had a dream that he had standing on sun, yeah. you know, or yeah. the moon, yeah. or or whatever. So it's, it's wow. That's a very important point, actually. Yeah, it's, it's a game. Believe that it was a a journey in a dream. Yeah, then very, there wouldn't have been point. any text about. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know those yeah. problems Sahabat was going yeah. through, and Prophet Muhammad was going through of uh, whether uh, he's telling the truth or not. Yeah, because so, no one's going to ask you about your dream. Yeah, let alone um, ask your friends. Yeah. Oh, why exactly. are you talking about this, man? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did your friend really had a dream? Yeah. yeah. So it's it's a problem, and the Prophet Muhammad, uh, because there's so many hadith uh, hadith about this of when they asked the Prophet Muhammad told about that caravan coming in. And when is that caravan going to reach Medina? Uh, yeah. The Prophet Sallam talked about Battle Mukaddas at that time, and, yeah. Yeah. and he was shown the whole uh, masjid and you know the whole structure yeah. in front of him, uh, and so on. And Abu Bakr Siddiq got getting the title of Abu Bakr Siddiq. Where else do you think uh, people who think Miraj was a dream? Why are you calling him Abu Bakr Siddiq? Just yeah. calling Abu Bakr, because yeah. that's how he got. We know him. We know him as Siddiq because of the Miraj. Physical uh, testimony of the Prophet Sallam journey. Uh, otherwise, uh, whoever believes he's a, uh, the Prophet Sallam saw it in a dream, in this this first Khalifa is called Abu Bakr only. Okay, wow. because uh, Siddiq is the word given. Otherwise, wow. what do you think? Why was he called Siddiq? That's a question. A burden of proof is on you then. And there's so many things about uh, why Miraj is uh, a physical journey. Wow. I mean, it's everywhere. I mean, you know, so. Uh, that's a very strong logical argument. Uh, wow. Yeah. So uh, plus the word roya, uh, which they think is a uh, word of the dream, is a very recent entry in the uh, Muslim psychology that roya in Bani Israel is the is the dream. Mm-hmm. Uh, even the roya in Arabic means to see. You know what I'm saying? 
When we say Roya, yeah, yeah. yeah Roya Te Halal does not see the moon in the dream. They see it, you know, you know. Yeah. yeah so it's a, it's a, it's, a, yeah. it's the same word. I don't know why just Roya has to be a dream only. <laughs> uh, they just maybe they just don't know Arabic that much, or maybe they're too biased about whatever scholar came up with his own dream of uh, putting this as a dream. Yeah. Or maybe they just can't make sense of this, a physical journey. So. Uh, yeah. No, they try to find other ways. But somehow, to I've seen it. a common pattern that people who think Prophet <coughs> had a dream uh, in the Mirage. Somehow, they are very pro-science. Somehow, it's just a weird anomaly. <laughs> people who actually believe in science, yeah, just somehow just double back and yeah. all of a sudden refute. And, and uh, it's like, what, what's, what's wrong with you? You're the only, the first person I expect yeah. this to to be, you know, yeah. rationally placed. But since science does not really explain an, an actual man traveling like that, especially not without yeah, a jet, yeah, yeah. so science, maybe that's yeah. why they're too biased about science. And they uh, they think that the uh, human, Muslims, human, I don't know why we keep on calling them human, that Muslim psychology is... Uh, <laughs> why Muslims are not humans? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you know, uh, Muslims are naturally humans. Uh, so these people think that to be superstitious and become, we came up with this stuff, then we'll have to come. I mean, You'll have to prove a lot of things out of our, our, our your own system as well. Yeah, that's actually kind of very weird that uh, Mirage doesn't make sense to us, but time travel, all the theories, yeah, yeah. which are not even facts yet. Hey, uh, further proof of why uh, Surah Bani Israel is such an important surah. Uh, because uh, a new dispute has come up with, uh, it's just, you know, I, I mean, uh, most people don't dispute it, so don't worry about it, but people who are going to go through more. Uh, you know, in time, they're going to follow a bigger population of those dream believers. Yeah. Uh, we'll call them uh, dreamers for now. Yeah, so okay. The dreamer Muslims and the physical m movers. You time know, travelers. The time travelers, yeah. The yeah. time travelers and the dreamers. These people are going to grow in population and this is going to become a little bit of a bone of a contention later on. Let's just say, you know, two, three, maybe four generations from now. So this is another start of a fitan coming in right now inside our own ranks. So uh, thank God the Jal is not a Muslim because uh, I can name a few who started this dream theory. You know, this is the first deception. Uh, so, uh, but this is not going to be Muslim. So uh, the, the real question is why, why do we want this to be a dream? I mean, that's the real question. Mm. That what do we want to gain out of? putting this as a dream because I know what I gain out of it when I put this as a time travel mm -hmm. because it sets the psychology of Surah Kaf very, very straight up right there okay. and it gives us strength and that uh, the Prophet ﷺ did go through Miraj as a physical journey and uh, I, I know a scholar who actually quoted to me directly uh, the, that uh, Prophet ﷺ said I was between the state of sleeping and being awake and when I saw two people coming in, I uh, felt two people standing on my shoulders because he was okay. on the floor mm -hmm. and they were standing up and then uh, one was Jibreel and one was his companion. And then the start, the, the journey starts with the dialogue and you know, who is the third person with us, the, the third person, the second person, is this is Muhammad, uh, the Prophet. And then they introduce each other and then they start walking towards Kaaba and then the Isra started. And this is what, you know, what, what the Hadith they use as uh, to build up their case that this was a dream because he was in the state of not sleeping, not of being awake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, if it said sleeping, that then yeah, you have a case. We'll yeah. talk about the, the health of the Hadith then. Yeah. But it doesn't even say sleeping. Yeah. You know? I deny sleeping. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you'll have to really, really come up with something better uh, because the rest of the whole Arabs didn't think that he was asleep. Uh, the Sahabas didn't think he was asleep. He had to give proofs of how uh, how physical it was. Uh, yeah, I guess he was even asked questions regarding. Well, you to can describe ask everything. Well, like, in, in, in their defense, the dreamer's defense, mm. you can still ask a prophet if he was dreaming yeah, because he yeah. claimed to be a. But 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 then there was like a a caravan passing by at the same time. No, he traveled. Let's just say I'm a, I'm a, a guy who believes that uh, this happened in the dream. Mm -hmm. Then I can still ask you this question because you claim to be a prophet. Yeah. So, you know, tell us because your dream yeah, is yeah. supposed to be true dreams. Weaker argument, yeah. 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 So, but, but still, uh, since Arabs ridiculed the Prophet yeah. and Abu Bakr Siddiq, uh, you know, testified. Yeah. Uh, so, this actually goes to show really clearly that Arabs, 
did, did not were not told that this was a dream. Uh, Sahil, I'm sorry to interrupt you here. Uh, there's a story about a caravan which yes. Rasulullah saw during his journey to Jerusalem from Mecca. Uh, because uh, even if it's a dream, that cannot be such a there cannot be such a huge coincidence that he speaks to someone in the caravan in a dream then. He comes back. Can you, can you please explain that whole story? Yeah, that's a very, very good point because uh, it actually has two deep meanings, this story. One is uh, that the psychology of Isra is a totally different psychology that we have as Muslims. Okay. We think it was a road journey, even though it was not a road journey because this story tells that uh, that man. Well, let me tell you what the story yeah, yeah. is. Can you please tell the whole story? Yeah. The Arabs <clears throat> asked the Prophet that if you are so true, give us some uh, proofs. And the Prophet said that there's a caravan that is coming in okay. and it's going to reach that certain day in, in a certain date and a certain time. And it did reach that because the Prophet saw how far that was. Okay. And not just that, during his journey, he saw that there was a man inside that caravan who had lost his uh, camel. And the uh, Prophet was looking from above, so he knew where the camel was. So he actually told that guy okay. that this is where you should look. Okay. Like he and called him out? Yeah, he sky? called him out, yeah. And then uh, we know he called him up from, uh, from, from the sky because that man said that, yes, I, I heard Muhammad's voice from, from above. So Isra was also in the air. Okay. This is the other meaning. Isra was not a, 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 a land to land journey. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the other uh, 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 thing about this uh, Isra was the Prophet said that I saw my brother Musa's grave and he was praying <coughs> in the grave and I know where that grave is uh, during that, that journey of Isra. Yeah. This did not happen in, the, in Miraj. Miraj is a vertical ascent up, up to the heavens. Yeah. So all of these things happened further. But you can see someone praying in the grave in the dream. Because right now we're discussing if yeah, it's yeah, a I'm dream. Just saying, uh, that but the uh, caravan uh, thing and the guy, he actually did come. No, no, why, why I said about this, uh, this uh, Musa's uh, account is so that I can tell you that this was not a road journey. Okay. It was a journey in the air. Okay. And uh, this further proves time travel because um, the, this journey is about 1200 kilometers aerial distance. Okay. So, uh, you know, this cannot be done in, in a matter of a second. Yeah. Or, or however long it, it took. Uh, so, uh, when the Arabs asked for the proofs, he, this man came, that caravan came at the right point and the right time and the right day. And this man was asked and he said, yes, I did lose my camel and I did hear uh, the Prophet's voice. Wow. Okay, and so, uh, so that cannot be in a dream because you cannot be just uh, saying anything in the dream. And uh, if I see you in my dream and I tell you to do something, you're not just going to come to my yeah, yeah. home next day and say, yeah, you know, I heard you yeah, say that. Yeah. So, uh, again, you know, that's, that's a secondary proof. The primary proof itself is Arabs asking for the proof. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he gave as proof is uh, secondary in this argument. Okay. So, uh, again, for people who really are looking into uh, this sort of uh, uh, confusion, this literally nails it that this is not a, a, a journey in the dream. Okay, so from Bani Israel, what we have to learn is the time travel, yes? Before uh, yeah. we move on to Surah Al-Kahf. And, and not just the time travel, but the technology okay. of time travel. Okay. Because these are two different sorts of technologies that were used. Okay. Can uh, you please explain? Uh, the Isra was done... What do you mean by technology? Technology is a, it's me, a technical it's like term. a mythical story. Uh, no, no, no it's, it's not. I'll tell you why. But we just believe it because we're Muslims. Uh, yeah, we, well, we just don't. Well, I don't want to use the word just because that just lowers the psychology. We just believe it means and that's that, how uh, we most of the Muslims do actually. Uh, uh, well, I'll tell you. What that's how we can never justify it. We can never argue about it. We just say, yeah, it's a matter of our faith. He did travel and... Yeah, but it shouldn't be said in an inferior psychological way. Yeah. It should be a very superior thing. Mm -hmm. Because Newton didn't say, hey, you know what, I just believe that there's gravity. No, he said it is gravity. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, the, but that's very unfortunate that that's the level of Yeah, that's exactly why I'm have. saying Surah Bani Israel is so important because that's yeah. the Newtonian belief that we have to put in time travel. Okay. Einsteinian belief that we, we have to put inside time travel. Mm -hmm. Way more than him actually. He was theorizing yeah. it. We actually have proof. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
So yeah. we just we don't just believe it. We actually believe that this is the only thing which is true. Uh, when a scientist says, "Hey, you know what? Einstein is proven wrong." We don't care. We don't believe it because Einstein said it. We believe because Muhammad bin Abdullah said it. Yeah. And we 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 know that you know uh, if we yeah. believe at that level, you know, we might just have a shot at you know being those uh, of the Siddiqins. So it means we do have a real man who had who experienced time travel. Not so just a very, very, very a lot of other people time travel, but really, I will come to Surah Kaf later. Okay, but uh, That's this is really where uh, this is where the mm -hmm. uh, the psychology has to be constructed. And this is why I said there's no chances or or, or coincidences in Quran. Mm -hmm. The concept of time travel, concept of angels taking Prophet uh in a linear direction from Kaaba to uh, Betul Laham, where uh, you know uh, the Dome of the Rock. Yeah where uh, the <coughs> ascension did take place. This is something which is Surah Bani Israel, it's not Surah Kaf. Mm. So when we understand this and then we go to Surah Kaf, then we come to Surah Kaf really well prepared as to how to look at Surah Kaf all, all together. In different chapters, you see that unless you know what all of this is all about, you won't be able to put Ashab uh, uh time travel and Zulkarnayn's journey. Because Ulkanan travels through the Isra that 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 you know this 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 uh, this first part of Miraj is, which is Isra. Okay. So uh, because Miraj is a key word, which is in the Quran, and the uh, the the travel of the angels through certain pathways is called uh, uh, Miraj or Maharaj in plural. So uh, even the the time lapse and the time difference. Is also told by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in uh, in uh, Surah Maharij as to how angels travel about in the universe and uh, how their one day equals to X amount of years in in our planet. So Maharij and Miraj is a totally different concept. This is why Bani Israel Maharij. Hmm. Maharij is the plural of ma ma Miraj. Okay. Uh, Miraj means ascension, and yeah. Maharij means ascensions. The, the ways of ascension. Okay, ways of like you can say portals. Yeah, literally portals. These are different okay. portals are used by the angels as per uh, Surah yeah. Maharaj. That's so, the name of a surah. Wow. So we have a surah in the Quran. Yeah, we which have a talks surah. about ways of ascension. Yeah, portals. Uh, for angels. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and even the time differential is given in that surah. <coughs> okay. The the time which is taken yeah. by an angel is a day at that portal. It's like it's fifty thousand years of, on, of, the, of, on this planet. On this planet. Yeah. So this this is something which is. Uh, a, a very clear psychological uh, construction of a Muslim uh, mind as to how you know all of this universe is you know coming about and how things are going. And since Surah Bani Israel talks about two different types of travels, okay. so we can't just say, "Oh, it's a mirage, so mirage." No, it's not. Isra is also there. Okay. So there's another way okay. to 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 travel uh, other than the the you know those. So there's a way. Portal. There's a portal to traverse the earth. And yeah. then there's a way to exit the earth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's so, so there's two kinds of traveling that has that two kinds of ways. Ways. Yeah. That, that yeah. is also. Okay. So once we have that in order, then we can actually understand uh, what kind of choice of words Allah Subhanahu wa Taala used in Surah Kaf, <coughs> okay. because He uses certain words, <laughs> and uh, those certain words are used uh, all over the Quran. We just somehow, uh, you know, don't use the meaning of those words. In Surah Kaf somehow, and this yeah. is a problem that we need to solve. And this is why I said Bani Israel actually is is a very key element of Surah Kaf, its placement, its concept, and uh, the, the the types of uh, uh, you know journey, and the uh, time lapse, and you know so on and so forth. Yeah. It actually creates that uh, uh, clarity for a Muslim mind that you know this is how it works. So now let's uh, see what uh, Surah Kaf is all about, so yeah. that you know we can uh, yeah. uh, understand that. But again, you know, iman is 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 Im imperative here. Im iman is critical. Uh, if we have that iman in the Quran, and we do not validate Quran through science, then yeah, we're good. But if we validate Quran through science, then we we we've lost the battle to begin with, even before the battle, because now we're looking for science because time travel concept. As soon as I say time travel, you're going to think Einstein. You're not going to think Muhammad yeah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah. 
you know you're not going to think sura bani israel no that's, yeah. that's not how we think because but nowadays when you talk talk about time travel it's the interstellar that i think about yeah yeah, yeah. so why 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 are we looking at uh, yeah. any kind of spaceship yeah uh, why did not we think uh, in when somebody said interstellar we didn't we, why didn't we think white horse yeah you know because that's the first interstellar that we actually found out yeah actually you know we found that out through other uh, prophets as well but we we're talking about the car right now mm-hmm. so the real question is where do we settle the iman on all of these things and what is the definition of iman mm-hmm. once we have that and we can only know that through the iman of sahaba because prophets and all the other prophets um, you know they they have a totally different matrix of what iman is yeah so and what was the psychology of sahaba regarding all these things the sahaba psychology was like how are we so different than them where do we lose the track we have them and when we have a lot of uh, opinions of 1400 years of uh, different european and arabian and you know other scholars and even before that we predate our, our psychology to st yeah. augustine and uh, aristotle and, and so on and so forth so the thought process actually you know is inherited through a lot of clutter of a lot of people's differential of opinion and then we get you know we get lost in the middle yeah. even though it would have been a very should have been a very linear uh track from the sahabi to to the current yeah. muslim yeah and we were not told those stories and whoever tells those stories uh, we have a lot of other people who are calling that superstition even the muslim ranks yeah or you know your people flu or your 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 sahabis were you know doing this and that and you all of a sudden Hazrat Umar had a karama and Hazrat yeah. Abu Bakr had a karama Hazrat Ali had a karama oh my god where is the proof all of these are weak hadith it is not the point even if they are weak hadith it doesn't really matter i'm talking about the psychology of 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 this technology <coughs> and iman on this technology in this sahaba had and uh, this is the definition of iman as 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 much as a uh, 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 a darwinian student believes in evolution we should have a 10 million time more belief in 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 uh, the 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 way time travel is done uh, and and shown mm-hmm. uh, a regular human being in the planet actually has started to believe iman in the Dar- darwinian evolution even yeah. some scholars of Muslim, uh, islam say that yeah at some level evolution is there in terms of animals and not human beings i don't know why they confusing anybody a horse was a horse when he was born a horse you know mm-hmm. a monkey was a monkey and there's no evolution like that uh, and even if there is some sort of evolution it is on a cert- such a sub cellular level that is is insignificant because uh, the it's a metaphysical concept i'm not going to go in that detail but yeah i think that's not the yeah. topic evolution yeah but in my in uh, in uh, uh, time travel uh it should be uh should be at the level of abu bakr siddiq mm. nothing less and even if abu bakr siddiq did not if he did not have that sort of iman just i'm just saying for the sake of your understanding here we shouldn't be relying on abu bakr siddiq's testimony we yeah. should be relying on nabi bakr sallam's testimony yeah you know what i'm saying all of a sudden yeah. we think that since abu bakr siddiq said, said it, it so it's yeah. true yeah 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 no it doesn't matter whether abu bakr siddiq that was for his own good that is he 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 you know yeah. he believed yeah. uh, we should believe as as you know sahil adim directly believing the prophet sallam's testimony hmm. you know what i'm saying i don't need a a, a witness hmm. as against the spirit of islam we are not a muslim if you believe in miraj because abu bakr siddiq said so is you know a guy comes to uh, umar in khatab you know and he says uh, i need you to uh, double check a case uh, the uh, i just you know was uh, not satisfied with the verdict and umar in khatab said who uh, who handled your case he said uh, your prophet handled my case now, umar in khatab slaughtered him right there yeah. that you coming to me hmm. to actually object and critically evaluate the uh, the decision of the prophet so Yeah, I heard from someone that is a daif hadith. I don't care if it's a daif hadith, but I'm saying it's psychology. I'm yeah. using daif or uh, as an id uh, hadith in 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 a, in a, in a same psychological flavor. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He better have killed that guy. That's what I I want. <laughs> okay, you know because if a Muslim claims to be Muslim, he's critically evaluating Prophet Islam. Then I don't know what kind of uh, definition of religion. Forget the Islam. you can critically evaluate abubakar siddiq and everybody else in the world 
But you cannot critically evaluate the Prophet ﷺ if we know that this is coming straight from the Prophet ﷺ. Yeah, I think there are more stories of Sahaba. Uh, yeah, I will tell you this kind of psychology. Yeah, but yeah. what I'm saying is, this is the finest example that I can think of. If it were not a day, if it was a day for these, which of course it is, I think this is the best hadith for knowing how Iman should be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's just say, forget about this. Uh, <coughs> these are two sahabis. My father says something and my neighbor comes in and he says, you know what? Your father is not a right man. I should be doing uh, everything I can, <laughs> you know, which, which I do. And yeah. How dare you say think this or that about my father? Because yeah. I have that Iman in my father. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not just uh, an emotional concept. Yeah. It is a very rational concept as well. Otherwise, yeah. my family structure is going to break. Yeah. If I start critically evaluating everything my father is doing. Yeah. An and argument like, can be given here that what if your father really is wrong? Yeah. But we can't give that argument regarding the Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. No, no. But I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about Prophet here. I'm hmm. talking about the psychology of Iman here. Hmm. Okay. The psychology of Iman has to be really, really crisp. Hmm. It is not something which is to be taken lightly. If the Prophet is saying something, it is way more real than gravity. If I fall down, I'm going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is something which, uh, let me tell you a little story so that you can understand. Because this is a real story. That the Prophet was coming into a caravan in which uh, he was, uh, he looked at a horse which he really liked and he wanted to buy that horse. But he did not have the money at that time. He said, I'm going to pay you when we, we reach home, which is Medina. So they made a deal and uh, the deal was done. Okay, this is close. The horse is yours as soon as you pay me up. But as soon as the caravan hit Medina, everybody came looking for that horse. Look, look at this horse. And everybody, you know, wanted to uh, pay big money for it. As soon as he got more money uh, offer, he all of a sudden backed out from the deal. The process said, why are you backing off the deal? We just had a deal. And he said, do you have any witness for this? So this is the Sabi, uh, Suhaib, he was just walking by, he's a local in Medina. The person says, so come here, man. and I want you to uh, bear witness to the, to the deal we had. And this guy, he said, well, how can you be bear bearing witness to, to something which you didn't see? Yeah. So, so Suhaib said, uh, you're talking about a horse here, buddy? I actually bear witness to heaven, I haven't seen heaven. <laughs> You know? Wow. So uh, I do bear witness that this deal happened and I, 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 I Subhanallah. You, you have to, uh, uh, you know, honor this deal. So this is the Iman, this is the actual flavor of the Iman. This is why I said this, these are the, these are the construction of psychology that, that the Sahabas had. Subhanallah. This is something which is so imperative for a Muslim to know. And this is why I said, if you do not know Bani Israel, Surah Bani Israel's uh, psychology, yeah. And you'll be falling flat on your face in Surah Kaf, thinking, Why, there's nothing about the Jal in here. How is this, this Surah going to save me from the Jal? The Jal is a, 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 an animal. A, a, we have to kill that animal through a weapon. We need to believe in that weapon, that this weapon is going to kill the Jal. And the weapon is Surah Kaf. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that weapon is Surah Kaf. But if my belief in Surah Kaf is made in <coughs> Surah Banisai, this is how these three surahs come in together and, you know, make up a bullet which is going to shoot uh, Dajjal down. So this is something which is so important to, uh, to understand that uh, Bani Israel comes up with the time travel concept and the trajectory and the journeys and the ways yeah. and the ascensions and the, the whole, uh, you know, nine yards or whatever happened. And then we enter Surah Kaf and then you look like if you have the total Iman on, 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 on how you know, these ways come about and how, how these journeys happen. And then when we enter Surah Kaf, all of a sudden, things fall way easier in the right places than, than, uh, than, than you know, if you just start Surah Kaf cold. Hmm. Okay. SubhanAllah.